The Adventures of David Perkins. Like, subscribe, comment. Hello and welcome to The Adventures of David Perkins. This time I'm walking around Framlingham Castle in the county of Suffolk in England. The name Framlingham comes from the Saxon word Framella, meaning the followers of Framella, who was perhaps a Saxon chieftain in the area. Excavations around the castle in the 1950s uncovered a large cemetery containing the remains of about 50 men, women and children. The cemetery's exact date is uncertain, but pottery found near the dead date from between the years 650 to 850, evidencing a large population in Framella in the centuries prior to the building of the castle that can be seen here today. By the time the Doomsday Book was compiled in the year 1086, Framella, now known as Framlingham, was already under Norman control. The entry in the Doomsday Book for Framlingham reads, Almar, a thane, held Framlingham, now Roger Bigot holds. Until the end of the 11th century, Hugh Bigod was a tenant of Hugh de Average, Earl of Chester, one of the most powerful of the Norman barons. Framlingham, at the time of the Doomsday Book, appears to have been of some significant size, possibly having a population of as many as 600 people, and the estate being valued at £44. This is a doubling of both the population and value since the Norman invasion some 20 years earlier. Roger Bigod I, the Sheriff of Norfolk, was formally granted the Manor of Framlingham by King Henry I of England in the year 1101. The Bigods were Normans, but not originally of noble rank. The Bigod family, over the course of the 12th and 13th centuries, became wealthy from their land ownership in East Anglia. Through marriage and service to the monarch, the Bigod family rose through the ranks of medieval nobility. Roger Bigod I would establish the Cluniac Priory at Thetford between the years 1103 to 1104, where all subsequent earls and dukes of Norfolk would be buried until the 16th century. After the death of Henry I of England in the year 1135, the country became divided by civil war. Although King Henry's nephew, Stephen, took the throne, his rule was challenged by King Henry's daughter, Empress Matilda. In the war that followed, each side sought to create allies, creating opportunities for ambitious barons to extend their wealth and power. Hugh Bigod, the son of Roger Bigod, was particularly ruthless and keen to increase his control of East Anglia. Although Hugh Bigod initially sided with King Stephen, Bigod would in the same year attempt to take King Stephen's castle at Norwich. Early on in the year 1140, Bigod changed allegiance and sided with Empress Matilda. But by the summer of the same year, Bigod had returned to the king's cause and was then rewarded by King Stephen by being made the first Earl of Norfolk. However, Bigod's loyalty to the crown soon faltered, and the following year, 1141, Bigod again sided with Empress Matilda. On the death of King Stephen in the year 1154, Hugh Bigod supported the new king, the son of Empress Matilda, King Henry II. King Henry was keen to regain control of East Anglia, and in doing so he confiscated Framlingham from Hugh Bigod in the year 1157, only returning the castle to Bigod in 1165 in exchange for a large sum of money. By 1173, rebellion against King Henry had swept through East Anglia. Hugh Bigod joined the rebellion against the crown, but the king's forces were ultimately victorious, and Framlingham passed to the king for the second time. Hugh Bigod would die when on pilgrimage to Jerusalem, sometime between the years 1176 and 1177.